What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game that was super hot at PAX East. It was one of those games they had like a, a line around the block the entire week. Like the entire time I was there, this game had tons of people in line. It's called Tormentor X Punisher. Let's get started. This is a game that is very simple in its premise. Shoot everything, kill everyone. Uh, left click makes you fire your machine gun. It's got about 10 bullets before it runs out. And then you press right click to fire a shotgun. Firing the shotgun will reload your normal gun. Everything in this game dies in one hit. You die in one hit. Bosses die in one hit. This game is super fast paced. It's come to take your lunch money and it is incredibly difficult. I'm not expecting to be super good at this here today. Uh, I've seen people get high scores in this game that I'm just like, how did you... How did you do that? Like, physically, I don't understand how their high score is that high. And yet, at the same time, apparently, I've just got old man brain or something because I play this game and I play like trash. I never play well ever in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and infuse a couple guys over here. So this game, it's kind of odd. I think some people will be turned off by the difficulty almost instantly and just be like, nah, I'm good. Because this is a game that's very difficult. On the opposite end, this game is actually surprisingly deep and has a lot of meta, like a ton of meta. Like there are all kinds of weird things you can do in this game and all kinds of strange ways that like attacks interact with things. And like I can push those bullets around with my shotgun, for example, and I'll get bonus points for anything I kill with a reflected bullet. And when I reflect the bullet, it turns into a grenade that gives me like double points on anything that gets killed by the grenade. Like, things like that inside the game are forthcoming, and you just figure them out as you play, and as you figure these little tricks out, oh shit, this is not good, I need to get rid of this big blobby bastard, or I can just die myself, that's cool, Malevolent Big Bones killed me. There was probably like a slime pile under there, my top score so far is 84,000 points, I round it up because it makes me feel better, alright, but the best people in the world so far have done about a million. Uh, I've never beaten the third boss. The bosses are randomized, so you get random bosses every single time you play. This game is very fast-paced. It's meant to be played. I think the longest I've seen people survive is, like, 15 minutes, basically. Like, the game, even if you're very, very good at it, is meant to be played in a very short sitting where you can just mash it out real fast and it's not even, you know, a problem. I am going to... Oh, good lord. We'll get rid of you guys. I don't know exactly how I want to handle this situation. But we'll just keep blapping on dudes. You can bounce bullets off these guys' shields, and if it hits somebody, uh, you get a bonus thing called a, a thank you or something like that. The game... Oh, that was not intended. I was going to reflect that with a shotgun blast, but my shotgun was on cooldown longer than I expected it to be. But yeah, there's tons of meta in this game. There's tons of little things beneath the hood that you don't realize until you do them on accident. And sometimes, even when you do them on accident, you don't realize how they happen. It took me forever to figure out how the various, like, combo attacks and whatnot work. Like, there's one called Fuck You. I still haven't figured out how Fuck You works. Like, I have no idea how Fuck You functions. Like, occasionally I get it, and it gives you a ton of bonus points, and I'm not sure what triggers that. Haven't figured it out yet. It's gonna be one of those things that I got hit with a hammer. That was a terrible score. I feel guilty about that. That one wasn't even worth showing off. It sucks. It definitely sucks getting hit with a hammer in your face by a space demon, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes you get hit in your face by a space demon. Uh, the game does have a lot of profanity. The game definitely uh, enjoys the classic oldies as far as insults go. It's one of those games that I can imagine, though, eating up your quarters. Like, it's one of those games that as I play it, I could see this game sans the profanity, because that never would have flown back in the 90s. You wouldn't have gotten away with it. They would have given you, like, an AO rating or something like that. But uh, I could see this game back in the 90s being in the corner of an arcade somewhere and just eating up your quarters all day, every day. I'm just going to get rid of some demons, man. I ain't feeling these demons. These demons can get... These demons can get worked on. I don't give a damn! There we go. We'll get them with wizard hat. So if I reflect a bullet and it electrifies anybody, and then I kill the person while they're electrified, it gives you a little thing called wizard hat. And what happens is there's a little pie plate that fills up each time you do that special attack. Oh, this is going to be rough. So we've got Craw. What Craw does is he spins and fires bullets at you. And then once he's no longer doing that, he charges you. And if, when he slams into the wall, he becomes weakened. And you can one-shot him as long as you can put a shot on him. However, the longer you let that happen, the worse it gets. So you should probably take care of him sooner rather than later. Uh, enemies can be killed by their own bullets. So, for example, if somebody runs into a blue bullet... Uh, oh, I've almost got Wizard's Hat charged up. We've got our second boss here, the Priestess. I've never beaten the Priestess, so this should be kind of interesting. I have no idea how to beat the Princess, or the Priestess, or whatever her name is. 
I think I just got wizard hat, but I'm not positive about that one. Oh, I got her. Cool. Apparently, I have killed the priestess, and now she's going to lay down a flesh wall that's going to be in the way for hella long until I get rid of it. I got to sit and I got to shotgun blast each one of those little fleshy things on the ground. Yeah, definitely just keep shooting, man. Just keep shooting. The golem isn't too bad. I think I can take him. Oh, there's like super wizards over here now. Even better. Just what I felt like dealing with at the moment. There we go. We're starting to get those good score streaks now. And this guy, you got to get him right there. So in between, what's going to happen with him is he throws the thing at you. For a brief second, there's an opening right there where you can shotgun him, and it one-shots him if you can get him. And actually, I just beat my high score. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We got Carrion coming through. All right, couple of enemies down. Oh, my good sweet Jesus. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Carrion's kind of difficult. In, in some ways, Ah, oh, there's my death right there. I walked right into that. I saw it. My brain did not react in time. It sent the signal. Oh, wow, I broke 100,000. Oh, yay, I would have got a sticker at PAX. I would have got a sticker at PAX at the booth. They were giving out, like, these pins and badges to anybody that could score over 100,000 on their first try. Or, you know, you could do consecutive tries, but if you could get over 100,000, you got, like, these special little badges for Tormentor X Punisher. It was kind of a cool little promo they were doing. Fun stuff. I enjoy little things like that. Anything to get, like, the fans hyped about your game. That was a pretty good run-through. That, in fact, was my high score of all time, and I'm glad that I captured it on camera, because had I not, it would have been incredibly depressing. Oh my good lord, did it just say a baboom when I killed that guy? I'm a fan of baboom. I'm gonna get some wall shots right there. There's a special combo attack called a wally, where if you can bounce it off the wall and hit somebody, you get a bunch of points for it. <laughs> like I said though, you figure that stuff out as you play the game longer and longer. You figure out all these weird little ways to kill your enemies and like multiply your score attack basically. Uh, there's no combos or anything like that. You don't get combos for doing anything in this game. Uh, it's more just like... If you kill multiple enemies simultaneously, or you kill multiple enemies with the same special attack, you'll end up with a pretty good amount of points. I'm gonna... I think we just wounded that thing. I don't know. But it don't look happy, that's for sure. I think I blew off its head right there. I don't know. We'll see. Luckily, we're not up against too much attrition right now. Yeah, I think she pops out, and you gotta hit her while she's popped out at the end of that thing, shooting bolts at you. I think that's how I accidentally did it last time. I didn't even realize how I did it. Come on. I'll find an opening here somewhere. I will find my opening. I don't know if I gotta reflect her bullet back on her or what I've gotta do. There we go. These flesh walls are getting out of control, though. Bang, 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 bang. Just keep shooting, keep running, and keep farming. It's the only way we're walking out of this one. Uh, where's she at? I don't know where she's at, and I know bullets are going to start flying in just a minute. Wow, she's still not down. That's actually pretty incredible. Yeah, maybe I haven't locked in on how I kill her just yet. Maybe I killed her on accident last time. I don't know. Got a hot stuff kill right there. Oh, that did damage right there. I saw her flash red. I think we heard her. Got a nice little hot stuff attack right there. Ah, I charged in to get the kill right there because I saw the butthole of fire. I saw the butthole of truth pop out and I had to destroy it. I can't stand buttholes of truth. I moved up. Yay! I moved up by three places. I feel good. I'm number 10 for the week right now. Game's not out though, but I'm sure we're going to see some truly insane scores once it starts to get up to like the greater internet and you start to get those people... They get super obsessed with it and start to figure out how the inner core mechanics work. Uh, so far, as far as everything is assembled with the game mechanically, I think the game's a lot of fun. The movement's good. The guns feel solid. I would get rid of some of the screen vibration. Uh, that's one of the big things for me is I've actually lost my character due to the screen vibration a couple times. And so I think the screen vibration is a bit much. That little zoom-in thing that it does whenever you use the shotgun. I think the game could do without that. I actually think the game would be better without it. The sound effects are all arranged in a way that's satisfying and makes it fun to use the guns and it makes it feel like your guns have weight and stuff like that and so I wouldn't worry about that too much got a couple of deaths down in here I'm just gonna keep shooting there we go got him with the fusion attack right there and we've got gut shank gut shank throws out buzz saws and when he dies he puts a big buzz saw on the edge of the screen oh he spawned that one on top of us that was fun I thought that he threw them 
And so that actually explains why I die so much when I go up against Gutshank. I thought he threw the buzzsaws, and so they would always originate from where he's at. In fact, that one spawned out of the wall. And so I learned a new thing today. The other fun part about Gutshank is after you kill him, he makes a giant buzzsaw rotate through the arena for the rest of your play. I don't know if you get a skill or like a score bonus or anything for having to put up with that, but it is super difficult to deal with because it basically limits... It lowers the size of your play area by easily 20%, which in a game which is about circle kiting and running from demons who are all trying to murder you, ends up being a lot of real estate that you've now lost and are no longer able to use. I'm going to get Wizard's Hat right there. Wizard's Hat 2, he got cooked. All right, we'll keep firing over here. Throw that infusion back out. Keep Wizard's Hat cooking. There we go. A little bit more loving right there. I'm going to try and get these cats. I actually think we're in a pretty good position right now. As far as the bullets are concerned, they're not coming from too many weird directions. Those dudes are just going to charge me, and Gutshank is already dead. Because I shotgunned him point blank, which basically kills everything in the game. Uh, there's the buzzsaw that you got to worry about. So I will be avoiding the sides of the arena as much as possible. But like I said, Bloodthirsty Nagal. All the enemies have little names that are randomly generated, and when you get killed, it'll tell you their name. Because you're fighting demons in hell. I don't know why this lady's so angry, like what the demons did to her in the first place to make her like this. It's never quite explained. There is a cutscene at the beginning of the game where she's shit-faced in a bar drinking, and somebody says something about demons on the planet, fuck you. And then she's like, oh, there's demons on the planet, fuck you, and she gets all angry, and she storms out, and she does like a DBZ thing where she travels through space at like, I don't know, superhero style. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to allow that to happen. He tried to get me with that shield, but I don't think I want to go down like that right now. I'm just going to keep them bullets spraying and praying. Ooh, we got that so long right there. Wizard got to go down. That's right. We will send you all back to the hellish pits from where you spawned. Ain't nobody want to mess around with demons today. Ooh, that was a good one right there. I feel solid about that one. I'm going to shock that guy with his own little missile. We got Snitch. Snitch isn't too bad. I don't know exactly what Snitch does. Snitch, like, fires an arrowy thing at you, as far as I remember. Yeah, he fires an arrow at you, and I think he fills up the arena with poison or something like that. And so you don't want to kite him out. You actually kind of want to fight him directly because, once again, a big part of this game is area denial. A lot of the bosses will start denying you huge chunks of the map if you don't kill them early and fast. I'm waiting to see... And we got the big guy back. So Golem's not too hard as long as you can focus on him. Oh, Jesus, a big rock. Those rocks fall randomly. That's part of the mechanic that I don't like is that they're almost undodgeable if they just happen to be above you. Um, they fall from the ceiling whenever he throws that pillar thing at you. And I've occasionally got a death like that one right there where it feels a little cheap and cheesy just because you don't have time to move. Or you moved right into it as it was spawning and, you know, you just get wailed into. It's bad. Then again, I've got old man reflexes, so I'm sure, like, the applicable 12-year-old that has the reflexes of a small child can probably get that thing done. Because when I was a kid, I beat Space Harrier. I beat all kinds of games that people say are crazy hard when I was a kid. And now that I'm an adult, I try to go back and do it. I beat Dragon Spirit. I beat all kinds of games when I was a kid. And now I've noticed I just don't have the reflexes for it anymore. I think it's why a lot of us old folks start to transition over to, like, strategy games and 4X games and stuff like that as we get older. Because, man, you, you lose your... Ooh, that was a good one right there. Hell yeah. Uh, we've got Craw this time. Craw's going to spin, throw bullets at you, charge a wall. And when he charges the wall, that's when you get him with the shotgun. And he dies instantly. I would prefer for these infusions to go elsewhere. You know what? There's too many. Ah, he got me while I was trying to get the wizard up there. Jesus, that happened so fast I couldn't even track it with my eyeball. Good lord. And this is like a completely different type of difficulty from things like The Binding of Isaac, too. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, this game takes all the, like, reflexive aspects of Binding of Isaac, where it's all about, like, intelligent movement and quick speeding, and it puts them all on, like, cocaine and, like, meth and PCP, and it's just like, yeah, have fun, you're gonna die a lot. Sucks to be you, you're the worst. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I'm the worst? We just started, though. <laughs> this game is going to kill you over and over and over again, and you should just accept it. Don't even get mad about it. Like, the first couple times I played the game, I actually didn't like it. I was like, I don't like this game at all. This game is mean to me. And then as I started to play it more, and I started to lock in on, like, what was happening, and I started to understand while I was dying, I started to, I started to like it a lot more. 
by comparison. Ooh, there's a thanks kill right there. That's good. Uh, we got Snitch this time around. He's not too bad. I think we could take him. There ain't that many demons around, and so... Oh! Come on, get me back into the game. Don't even show the scores. I don't even care. They should add an option where it just instantly puts you in a new game the second that you die. I don't want to sit there for the four seconds it takes to, like, get told how much better everybody is than me. I don't believe in that shit. That's not the path to self-improvement. The path to self-improvement... I don't want to use the shotgun. I'm going to punch a guy. I'm going to punch a couple. We're out of bullets right now, and you can melee when you're out of bullets. You get, like, way more points for meleeing, too. Alright, he's shut down. We'll get in behind him, shoot him. Good lord. She sticks to the classics, man. She's a foul-mouthed lady. I don't expect she gets invited to, like, fancy English parties. I like to imagine that most English people have at least one fancy party a year as part of being, like, posh and English. I don't know. If you're, like, Cockney or whatever, you come from, like, a working class area, I got you. We ain't got no money for fancy parties or nothing, but I hear you. I get it. I know where that comes from. Uh, this big dude down here about to get shot. I think you gotta shoot him. I don't know. He blew up when I shot him in his booty hole. Okay. I think you get more points for doing special stuff with some of the bosses, though, too. Like, it seems to me... There we go. Got that infusion kill. I needed that. I needed that very badly. Uh, we're gonna want to avoid the green little pit things in the middle until they despawn. And they will. They go away eventually. But up until they do, that's going to be kind of a no-man's land. We're just going to leave it alone. Trying to get a thanks kill right there. Get him with a wally real fast so I get those extra points. This dude slowed down. What do we got? We got Snitch. Okay. So I think you got to shoot Snitch. I haven't fought him enough. But I think you gotta shoot Snitch right around the time when he's about to fire his bow. And in that, like, pivotal moment, you can get, like, an insta-kill against him. Uh, can I shoot those little... It doesn't look like I can push the acid balls around. Well, I kinda can. It looks like their momentum kinda changes over time. I need to get rid of some of these over here. Until I get rid of those flesh walls and those goo piles, we're gonna really have trouble in here. Ooh, I thought I was going down right there. I didn't think I was gonna stay up on that one. We're at 50,000 points right now, not too bad. But we're up against a boss who requires me to move around a lot. And so that's actually going to be kind of difficult to deal with. I think he's going to teleport up from the bottom. But let's just stay moving for right now. Until he hits a wall, I ain't stopping. Oh, he got me when I hit a corner. Oh my god, I hit the corner and I looked for him. I hit a corner and I looked for him. And that's when he charged, that exact instance. Oh, you stop moving for a moment in this game. And it feels like you lose. It's weird how fast the game plays because that play was only like two and a half minutes. But it feels like you lose so much progress when you die because you've built up to such like a hectic wall of enemies. I do wish there was more guns and more weapons. That's a big part of this game that I actually, I wish there was like pickups and like spread guns and stuff like that. I don't know. I see it to the classics, man. I love classic gaming and so being limited to just the shotgun and, like, just the rifle, I, I wish there was more guns in this game. That's one of the few things that I will say is a complaint of mine, is that I want there to be more cool guns in the game. You know, things to kind of shift things in your favor if you can get a hold of them. Like, things that come with, like, a cumulative risk. You don't just, like, get the cool thing. Oh, it's Craw again. Got him. You got him. You got to get him right after the charge like Bald Bull back in the Super Punch-Out days. That's really what this game is trying to evoke. Is it's trying to get you to get your reflexes back so that you can just be like a G and wreck stuff up with crazy reflexive shots like that one that I just pulled. Ah, uh, we're back on Snitch. Are there any bullets around me? Got him. And apparently, we curse him to get fucked. I don't know. Enemies do get hit by their own bullets, in case you were wondering about that. So that... Oh, I got a super power-up. I got the wizard's hat. Wizard's hat should make uh, this fight a little bit easier. Oh, the gas stops the bullets from flying through. I never realized that. Doesn't matter now, because that fool dead as hell. That dude is, like, beyond dead. That dude is dead for days. 
I'm going to try and work my way around this way, but I can't guarantee it's going to be a successful strategy. Yeah, you can only unlock each of the power-ups one time, so we'll probably want to start popping wallies or something pretty soon, too. Golem, you know, I got good at Golem, and then I just started failing at Golem. I stepped on the green shit. Oh my god, I was trying to close with him to get at the diagonal angle I needed to kill him when he laid, he raised his arms to throw the thing, and I stepped on the green. That was all me. That was all me. But yeah, this game's called Tormentor X Punisher. If you like what you've seen so far today, make sure you check out the game in the description. Comes out in a couple days. I like it. I think it's cool. It's not a game that I would dedicate a ton of time to because I just have old man reflexes, and I don't think I'll ever be good at this game. I just, I don't think I'll get there. Some things you can be good at and some things you cannot be good at. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed what we were showing off so far. It's a simple game, but it's a game that knows what it wants to do. It's got admirable controls. The soundtrack works. The bosses require insane reflexes in order to consistently kill every single time. But they do have a strategy. You just got to figure it out. Uh, if you like what I do here on the channel, showing off indie games every single day to each and every one of you, make sure you check out my Patreon, which is down in the, uh, the description. It's a great way for you to support me for doing what I do here on the channel and keep me in business so that we don't end up with the lights out or anything like that. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all later. Tormentor X Punisher. Check it out when you get the chance, okay?